What's up, everybody? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. You know how we do. Grab your vices. Let's chill out, and let's get straight to it. This is episode 25 of the Straight Floor with Miss B podcast, alongside um, with guest co-host, A.G. What's up, A.G.? What it do? What it do? What's going on? Not much, man. Um, are you excited? About <laughs> it's our twenty twenty fifth episode. Uh, oh yeah, we made it to a quarter. Did we? Yeah, I am excited about that. Yes, we made it to twenty five episodes, everybody. So thank you very much for all the support that you have shown us from people who send DMs that tell us, hey, you know, they talk about the funny parts or whatever that they liked or, you know, just giving feedback on the podcast. We thank you guys so much. Um, Everybody who follow us on social media as well as, you know, subscribe to our podcast channels on whatever um, podcast streaming platform that you use. We are very, very grateful and, uh, yeah, hopefully we just keep on trucking with these with these episodes and pushing them out. Looking forward to 25 more. Right, 100 more. Shoot, we're going to get to 100 in, in a minute. That ain't going to take us no time, I don't think. Uh-uh. So how was your weekend, sir? Uh, hot. The heat was like turned on hell. Uh, it was hell. <laughs> and I was outside. <laughs> In hell. Yes, yes. Very, very, very hot outside. One thing about me that I notice when it's like real, real hot like that, you know how you, and I don't know if it happens to you, but every time I go outside and then like getting in and out of hot air, then going into the AC, I always seem to start getting, you know, my nose gets Sick. stopped up. Oh, yeah, yeah. get stuffy and stuff like that. Yeah, I caught that earlier, yeah. earlier this week. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I hate that. Yeah, I think some. I think summertime colds is like the worst. Right, mm-hmm. but um, you need that air, baby. Whatever, whoever ain't got no air, baby. I, <laughs> I got ten dollars on you getting your outfit. Right, <laughs> I got ten dollars on. Fuck it. I'm All right, y'all. Whoever got no AC <laughs> I got $10 in your car on. in your house. Well, in your dorm you know. room, wherever you at, <laughs> you got ten dollars. I'm not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week has kind of went up in an uproar um, since our last episode, um, and of course, you know what we're talking about. It is the um, Supreme Court. <sighs> they overturned Roe v- versus Wade, um, which. Um, was established basically um, back in 19, I believe, 55, which gave women um, rights to um, abortion. (sighs) So there has been, like I said, it's been, you know, a lot going on this past week. Um, A lot of protests has been happening in various cities around the U.S., um, you know, women's rights organizations, you have your feminists, you have, you know, your black feminists, you know, there's just been a lot of people um, that has came out in droves um, to, you know, just sh- show their um, and express their disdain and, and di- disappointment um, with the Supreme Court um, who, you know, voted to 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 ban that you know, ban those rights for women. So, you know, before we get into it, let me just cover up a couple of things because I know we're going to spend a second here just kind of giving our opinions on it. Um, So as of that was maybe like Tuesday, um, 10 states, I believe, so far have effectively banned abortions. Um, However, um, those states haven't set any Uh, restrictions on traveling out of the state um, for, you know, in case someone needs to travel out the state to get the procedure done. Um, 
and you know, like the state of California is one of those states who um, will continue to allow abortions um, to happen in their state. Um, there have been many major companies um, who are um, paying, giving, you know, giving vouchers or, or paying for employees who wish to travel in order to, you know, get an abortion. Companies such as Target, Amazon, um, Dick Sporting Goods, um, and a multitude of other major companies that are, you know, just, you know, they want to keep their employees. So I can kind of understand how they want to just show their concern and support, um, you know, for, you know, women out there who may go through certain, have certain circumstances where they feel as though, you know, having a child at the moment is, is not the best idea. Um, so, I'm glad that those companies have stepped up, you know, stepped up to um, support um, CVS. I believe Walgreens, um, the Plan B pills, um, they have basically now um, just kind of set a limitation on, you know, how many one person can come in and purchase at one time. So they're rationing those out, you know, that will help prevent them, you know, running out of stock of Plan B's. Because we definitely want to, you know, be able to keep Plan B's as of now <clears throat> stocked up, you know, for women and, and young girls who may need to, you know, run to the CVS and, and get that Plan B pill real quick. Um, so a lot has been going on and I will be hosting a live YouTube. I thought about this the other day and I felt like this is a, a good topic to kind of jump off uh, our YouTube lives. So that will happen sometime this weekend. Um, I'm thinking more so maybe Sunday evening when I know everybody's kind of home, they ain't out ripping and running the streets. And that way we can have, you know, more people come in and um, participate and get on the live, um, get on the live with us to just talk about this issue. Um, I had a couple of people so far who said that, you know, um, they don't mind coming on the live as well, because I think that this is like such a serious topic. And I think, you know, just kind of having like this live online town hall meeting where just regular people, um, you know, like you and I can come on and just talk about their feelings and, you know, how it may impact, you know, their communities or their own lives. And, um, you know just talk about the situation but we'll just start off the conversation today um on this podcast right so how you how you feeling as a as a male um how do you feel about the decision that was made um kind of up in the air for the simple fact that i know some females back when i was in high school was really taking advantage of the abortion thing you know, having three and four abortions and, you know, so I don't know whether to be happy about it or sad about it or I got mixed emotions, you know. Or just indifferent. You just neutral yeah. on it. Right. And I don't, I don't think they should take your right. I think you should be able to do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Whether you abuse it or not, but, mm -hmm. you know, but I do know some people that abused it, though. Mm-hmm. So, right. I'm kind of neutral on it, so mm -hmm. I'm up in there. Well, of course, as a female for myself, um, you know, I'm all about women's rights. Um, I am somewhat of a feminist. I would consider myself to be. Um, and I just feel like um, this is definitely one of those situations where you know, I feel like those six judge, judges who, you know, kind of took over the majority and voted to um, go ahead and, and, and um, put this decision in. Um, I was reading somewhere where, you know, they are all Catholics and that with the Christian, I mean, the Catholic faith, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, you guys. But with the Catholic faith, um, it's just part of their belief. Um, you know, they believe in pro-life 
um, so they don't believe in, you know, kids and babies being aborted. Uh, but however, there has to be, and if that was if that was their thought process um, going into this, you know, before they decided to vote, if that was their thought process and they was going to lean toward what they believed in, I think that 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 definitely becomes a a, a problem because, you know, you shouldn't. They take personal yeah, you taking your personal beliefs in something and applying it, trying to apply it to a nationwide millions of people and making decisions upon your own personal beliefs and not based on, you know, based on the, basically the welfare of the American people. And I think that that is a major problem there. Um, like I said, I'm a woman Ain't no way in hell that a man should be able to have an opinion, you know, let alone tell me what I need to do, you know, with my body. Mm -hmm. You know, how would how would men feel if it was kind of like the other way around me? I saw this um photo and I actually <laughs> put it on my um. I put it on my um, Instagram page, but basically with the photo um, stated, it was just showing one of the protesters and they had a, they had one of their signs up and they was like, well, what if we banned Viagra pills, right? <laughs> you know, that way men who suffer from impotence and that's supposed to be a natural thing, right? It's kind of like a God, not a God given, but it just is it's something that came with your body. What if we forced you guys to live with impotence and not allow you guys, you know, medications like Viagra and whatnot to help with that? How would men feel? Mm, you're going to hit them on, you're out here below the belt now, isn't it? Right. <laughs> How would men feel? <laughs> so you have to think about things like like it's 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 things like that that can as far as your health and, and, and the human anatomy, it's like it's certain things that we all want to just kind of have control over because it's what? Our own bodies. Right. So we should, you know, at the end of the day, we all should just have that say so on what we do with it. So if men, like I said, if it was the other rare round and tables were turned, like how would men feel if we did that? They would be upset. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? No, I would. It's old men, young men, popping, vi popping Viagra pills, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the thing nowadays. I heard. I'm like, um, I didn't even realize young dudes pop them. Oh yeah, but I was like, okay, well, I I can kind of understand, you know. I I came across a young dude I was talking to one time, and he suffered from impotence, and I'm like, nigga, you you 29 years old, why are you suffering from impotence? But that's another story for another day. Exactly, well, he popped that thing and gave you the business, didn't it? Child, he didn't, the, <laughs> no. The thing was, he wasn't really popping anything. I was like, "You need to pop." Need I actually, to I pop. told him he need to be popping something. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get. I said, "Go to the." I said, "Go to the gas station, get some ginseng." You know, they had a little ginseng stuff you could buy at the gas station. I I tried. Yeah. I suggested that he he didn't never. He he felt like I was. I guess at that point he was probably very insecure. That you know, I kind of just called it out the way that I did. And then he really kind of felt bad when I started, you know, advising him like, here, you maybe you need to do this. Maybe you need to go to the doctor and see about this. And mm. he just felt some kind of way. But, yeah, I was like, nah, I ain't going to be able to deal with it. Because he don't even want to help himself. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to leave that situation alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Can you tell me when you go cough? 
Oh my God. Y'all see what I had to deal with? Oh my God. Yeah, we're down the wrong hole. Oh my God. Please tell me. I'm finna cut your mic off. Well, you no, can't be man. doing that. At least put the phone down or whatever. Ooh, I almost, I almost passed away, baby. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been Damn. a podcast first, an exclusive. No, I'm just playing. You wouldn't even know what happened. <laughs> I, yeah, something would have happened if you would have just n- never said anything else. <laughs> you ever hung up and. Try to call back and yeah, and- I would have figured it out that something was wrong. But um, yeah, next time put yourself on mute. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this support abortion um conversation um, you know, we don't want to make it too long drawn out on this podcast. Um, however, everybody, if you can, uh, well. Yeah, this podcast will be, if you listen to the podcast, it will be out before Sunday. And like I said, I, I'm trying to plan to go live on our YouTube channel. Um, that's STR, the number 8 FWD with Miss B on YouTube. Um, just if you can follow the page, um, turn on your notifications. Just hit, It's like a little bell that you can click to hit, up, hit the notifications. That way you'll be notified when we go live. And if you would like to, you know, just join in on the conversation, we're going to talk more. I have more women, you know, on the panel discussing it as well. And, um, yeah, come on and join us and just share your opinions. Uh Because I see my co-host ain't got much of an opinion. What on 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 that? No, I don't. Not on the abortion topic. Oh my God, child! I got an opinion, but it ain't the one you we looking for. Oh my God, child! So see, we have so to. So we deal working with. hard. Oh, it's just you know I'm neutral on that because it can go either way, you know. What you mean? It shouldn't be no either people, way. Yeah, some of these people they just doing it. Just they tr- they ain't trying to get pregnant, but they ain't they not they ain't not trying to get pregnant either, and no, they don't want to have no baby. And, and depending on the abortion, you know, they said okay. depending on the abortion. Now, there are people right there, them the ones I don't like. Uh-huh. Now, if you get, if it's a mistake, you weren't trying, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, if you just going raw dog with everybody, shit, sooner or later, I'll go with the weasel. Yeah, but you have to look at the bigger picture. Okay. It's their body. They can do what they want what they want to do with their body. It's not affecting the body to me. Why it ain't affecting the body? Oh my god. I mean when they kill, I mean once the, the abortion happens, ain't nothing gonna be wrong with their body no more. How do you know that? I mean, I don't know no cases of nobody nothing happening to nobody's body. Some people have you know, have abortions and it could be you know, complications. yeah, it could be complications after having an abortion. Yeah, they don't report it could it, shoot it. People, you know, I've heard of people who can't, you know, they can't no longer even try to conceive a child ha- after having an abortion because of whatever complication, something happened during, you know, during that procedure. So it affects everybody, you know, it affects everybody differently. You know, not everybody just comes out after the abortion and they just live, you know, just a fresh, healthy life. Um, well, don't misunderstand me now. Now, if I was the one vote, I wouldn't have <coughs> voted to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have voted for it. I mean, to tear it down. I would have let you have the right. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying that, that I would have voted against it. Mm-hmm. So. You're right. Basically, how you feel is that if abortions are allowed, there should be some type of regulation to it. Yeah, like this girl came over here. She just was here three, four months ago now. Come on, baby. Now she be here once a month. She come every four months. <laughs> yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? On no situation like that, every six months you in here mm-hmm. getting an abortion. Y'all, right. nah, I ain't, I ain't with y'all. Right. But, you know, on the other side of this, you know, abortions discussion comes the conspiracy theories. So, basically, what I've been hearing is that the reason why they wanted to overturn, you know, Roe Roe versus Wade is because they can see, like, based on the consensus and everything that, you know, the the white race is is dwindling. And they are are saying that a lot of the white... A lot of the white women are the ones that are having a lot of these abortions. Yeah, they said there's a large like percentage. 68%. Right. 68%. That's what I heard. I heard that also. Right. So in order to, you know, save the white race, they need more white babies. Right. And this was definitely, you know, one of the ways which in which, you know, they can ensure that, you know, the white race will continue to be, you know, plentiful. Yeah, you know, the first thing black people say, they doing it to hurt us. I always tell them, nigga, they ain't never doing them for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's always. <laughs> it's always for them. Right. And if you benefit off of it, it's just they ain't had no other choice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But we going to see how this um, pans out. You know, like I said, there's many states who <clears throat> now it's, it's basically up to the state level government um, to make the decision whether or not they they themselves want to ban it in their states or not. But they're like I said, it's it's not it's not every state so far. But um, as of this week, it was like 10 states um, who have effectively banned abortions Um and so we'll just continue to look at the story. And uh, like I said, check us out on the live on hopefully Sunday. Now, that's the part I don't understand. Oh, how, go ahead. You know, it's a it's national vote, but it's it's going state by state. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the part. I, ain't, I don't understand that part of it, you know. Right. Well, I mean, the federal government or Supreme Court, they have... They have power. However, states at state level government have powers as well. You know, that's so why usually you power to overpower. Right. You know how you hear about those cases where a person went to a state court and, you know, they wanted to appeal the state court decision. So therefore they had to take it to federal level Supreme Court in order to mm-hmm. present their case in front of them. Um, and get a federal decision on it. Um, so it's kind of like that same thing. There's like your city level government has a certain level of power and, you know, laws and regulations um, they can put in place. Then you have your state level above that. And then above that is, of course, um, of course, federal level. But just because the federal Supreme Court overturned um, that 1955 decision, um it didn't affect it didn't affect the state level decision right yeah mm-hmm. but yeah but yeah so you know read up on it when you have time do some research um okay so um on to the next thing we're going to leave off that topic for now um Talk about some cool stuff. The BET Awards um, happened this past Sunday. Um, Diddy earned a Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, Lotto, she had a good performance with um, Mariah Carey. Everybody came out with a, you know, hot fashions, hit the red carpet and everything. Did you get a chance to watch the BET Awards? Yeah, I saw some snippets. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, I caught some of it. Yeah, I caught some of it too. I think um, the best part for me was definitely the Diddy uh, tribute. Uh, my favorite R&B group of all time performed. Joe to see. I'm glad to see them fellas looking halfway decent and looking sober. You okay, know. who was the one in the middle? Casey. How many people in Joe to see? 
Um, it used to be four. Oh, but I thought we three. thought it was two. Casey and Jojo. Well, <laughs> Casey and Jojo broke off of Jodeci. Correct, and they're they they are brothers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was looking at it and, and I guess I can't I couldn't remember Joe to see the group. I just remember I'm like, who is this third guy? Who is he? <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, so it's been a while for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they did good. Um Lil' Kim, she had a little hiccup. She kind of oh, started man. off on the wrong verse, but she did it got her together real quick. So she did and that look good yeah she looked a little crazy but hey they've been roasting her on, on the internet too they had her like a, a whole chicken <laughs> <laughs> not a chicken a whole chicken nigga <sighs> the one they sell at the store oh my gosh I already <laughs> cut up oh my I already God. cut up and everything yeah, Lord yeah that's mercy. crazy, you know. Right, yeah, but BET Awards, like I said, it was it was all right with no real hoopla surrounding it. It was all right. Now, what was funny this past week is the versus battle between Omarion and I mean, yeah, Omarion versus um, Mario. They are two R B singers. Um, before their battle, there was a pre-show battle. Um, with Ray J and um, Bobby V, they was on one team, and then they had uh, Pleasure P from the group Pretty Ricky and Little Sammy. We goes by just Sammy now. Um, them two was on teams, and man, that had to be the most funniest verses I have seen yet. Mm-hmm. They could have kept that one. <laughs> that was just a waste of time. To me, now that's my opinion. Now somebody might have loved it, but hey, they now I didn't say I loved it. I just said it was funny. It was mad funny. I couldn't do nothing but laugh the whole time. Everybody, everybody except probably Sammy and Mario. Their vocals yeah. was their vocals was cool throughout the entire thing, but them other ones. I'm like, boy, y'all do too much smoking and drinking, and you could tell. <laughs> and you talking about like Alan Ira? You talking about practice? Right. Practice? <laughs> Ain't nobody practice for that shit. They just came out there and they and did. did. It. <laughs> they just came out there, and, and you don't have it anymore. <laughs> yes, and then Mario. I mean, not Mario. Uh, Mario. He he just blew through a Marion. Everybody oh, thought a Marion was going to be the winner, kind of you know, come on top. But Mario blew through him. Mario vocals was on point every song he sung. But oh, Mario, we was like, man, you need to just stop, just dance. Don't even sing. <laughs> just start lip syncing. Let him play. Let your brother play the records back then. You just lip sing and dance. Eat some more of that watermelon. And eat some of that. <laughs> I don't know what they was thinking when they brought them watermelons out on stage. They was like, of uh, out of all things, and it was Juneteenth. We celebrating, and they bring out some watermelons. Mm-mm. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Laugh and stop. Laugh and, Laugh stop. and stop. Yes. Uh-huh. And then um, what's his name? Ray J out oh there with God. his baby. And they over there like, one wish, one wish, one wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better have some more wishes called wish you get your voice back. <laughs> Right. Somebody had wrote on the thing like, "I hope he don't blame it on that baby." Right. <laughs> <And> don't blame. <laughs> I really hope he don't blame that baby for this performance. <laughs> and Ray J, Ray J, he always got his business mind going on. You know, he a little hustler now. He been running, he been running the means and everything in the ground, man. Like ever since the verses, he been on the internet every day t- doing something crazy. He, today he was in the uh at his dad's house getting vocal lessons 
It's stuff. He, he was. was. <laughs> he, that was hey, funny. He know he recognized he needs help. Hey, when you do that, hey, he doing the right thing. Yeah. Get you some lessons, brother, if they're going to be calling you to the stage, man. Don't ever embarrass us like that. That's what he said. He was like, man, I got to make my sister proud. I embarrass my family. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I can deal with Ray J. He he admitted. He know he embarrassed everybody. When he went back and looked at that thing, like. Right. uh, Ray J is hilarious, man. But shout out to them dude, <clears throat> to them fellas, you know, y'all better use Work this little fit, you <laughs> use this little piece of clout time that they got going on and and make it happen. I think they're going to try to they say they're going to put a group together called RSVP with Ray J and Bobby and Pleasure P and Sammy. So hopefully that work out for them. They might as well if if Tank and Genuine them did TNT, shit, they can do they can do uh RSVP. I'm sure that people go out there and buy it. some little supporters. Go out there and buy the album. <clears throat> but anyway, speaking of R and B, <sighs> sad day in R and B. R Kelly, man, R Kelly, and I was a huge fan of R Kelly. Um, hey, truth be told, I still listen to his music. Oh yeah. He ain't going away. You can't, can't hear it. But the boy done got 30 years Ooh. in the slammer. That's a long time, boy. That's a long. He going to be like 80 years old unless he get some time served or get out for I good behavior. A, this is a federal case, ain't it? Ain't this the feds got him? If it's the feds, he got to do 85%. So he's finna but that'll be, 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 what, 26, 25 years? 26, 27. Mm. Yeah, so he'll still he'll make it. I ain't gonna kill him. Yeah, I think he'll be all right. He, you know, being there doing his push ups and, you know, trying to halfway eat decent. Mm-hmm. I think he'll be as long as he keep. It's all about. I never been to prison, but from what I could tell, if you just keep your mind straight, you know what I'm saying. Don't let it eat at your mind. You you be mm-hmm. you be straight. You know, you right. get you get through your time and. Stay keep occupied, you know, play games, sing, write some songs, write a book, write a movie, do something. Seems like you're ready. <laughs> Seems <laughs> like you're ready. For them 30. For them 30. <laughs> we did it wrong. We did it wrong. Come on, fucking boy. Uh, Kelly used to be the shit, boy. Yes, yes. He had plenty of arenas, nigga. Somebody was boxing, goddamn clothes on like he been boxing and everything. Man, and he came by the crowd down my road one time. Uh, <laughs> All right, Kelly, man, dang. Yeah, being too damn freaky, man. Freaky, baby. That, is that him? No, that ain't him. Let me lick you up and down. That ain't him. Let me lick you up. No, that ain't our Kelly. Um, but yeah, R. Kelly, man, why you can't just fuck the mamas? Why you want just to do right? Just doing too much, Damn, man. Nigga. You done fucked your whole career up over this bullshit. Yeah, nigga, you just got motherfucker on there and fuck them chairs. This is bullshit. He thought he was. He thought he was unstoppable. Basically. He did that shit for twenty years, though. <laughs> <sighs> Poor kids. Anyway. Yeah. Poor kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Giselle Maxwell, um, as you guys um know, she's she's the the um woman who um used to be Jeffrey Epstein's side kick. Um and she kind of served as somewhat of a madam uh, for him. She used to groom um groom the teenage girls and get them ready um to present them basically to Jeffrey and his high powered um friends um and she was actually you know jeffrey epstein he actually well that's a conspiracy around his death as well um but he was found he was convicted and then found dead in his cell um where supposed to he he was supposed to have guards and everything you know 
to watch him because he was already on suicide watch, but they found him dead in his cell. So, you know, they call it a suicide, but a lot of people basically don't think it was a suicide. Um, but Giselle, she was actually sentenced um, this week um, to 20 years in federal prison. I think she's going to be um, sent to some prison in Connecticut, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Man, Boy. I tell you. So, you know, she'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, they all will be all right. She, I'm sure she she's probably going to be in the low low max prison. So it's kind of like a dorm room, you what know. Do you think they're going to send Kells to the Supermax? Uh-uh. I don't think so. No. I don't think nobody's going to be wanting to play in their booty, do it? <laughs> or he want to play in somebody's booty. You know, that can go either way. Your booty. That's Kels. Your, your booty. booty. Your booty. booty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they go start saying when you walk in there. Oh, my your gosh. Booty. <laughs> your booty. <laughs> booty. They going to be like, look at that booty. Child. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to fuck with him though. I know. I'm like, nigga, even if we don't, if I was in there, I'm like, nigga, even if we don't do that, nigga, we finna fuck with this nigga back. Yeah, I but yeah, I don't think they gonna put him in no supermax. I don't think so. Hopefully they won't. You know, but he anywhere he go, I think he'll be cool though. You know, all he gotta do is just sing to them niggas. <clears throat> he'll be all right. You know, tell all his Hollywood story. You know what I mean? Just shoot the shit. You might as well say he did it. Now, God damn, they didn't convict him for you. And he's yeah, from Chicago, God. so I know he know the GDs and, you know, some gang folks in there. Yeah, I think that's where he locked up nine in Chicago is in New York. I have no idea. I don't know. I thought it was New York, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. Well, this year you get a chance to go outside, now. Yeah. Instead of being locked up in the... In the hole. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. County. Yeah. Well, we gonna, you know, pray for Kells. You know, sometimes you just have to, you know, let people live out their lives and, and make them, you know, go through whatever they have to go through based on you know, things that they chose, decisions that they chose to make throughout their life. But that don't mean everybody need to just, you know, come down on them and, and tear them down. So, you know, shout out to Kills. Well, one thing I know, he was having fun while he was doing it. So. Hey, he, he had enough time to kick it. He had enough oh, yeah. time to kick it. So hopefully he Peed got it in. Him. He even got caught <laughs> peeing on him and all that stuff and kept doing it. So after the pee situation, he should have... Stop then, and he might have been all right, but he didn't. He thought he was above the law. Now you see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who the law? Mm-hmm. Mm. But anyway, so that's the end of episode 25, everybody. We definitely appreciate you all, as always. And um, like I said, you know, my plan is to go to YouTube Live this weekend, so definitely follow us on YouTube so you can uh, turn on the notification bell um, and catch us when we go live. But until then, don't forget to um, follow us on all social medias. Do you want to tell everybody bye? Bye, y'all. See y'all next time. See y'all. All right, y'all.